and key players that he can use upon the face of the earth so God cannot but destroy and I believe one of the sole purpose and the goal of the kingdom of darkness is to pervert and corrupt us as much as possible so that when God look upon us he cannot find hope so that if God look upon us he cannot find a standard he can use because if God must replicate if God must advance at least he need a pattern he need a reference at every territory God needs a reference that he can be able to use so sometimes you are not even standing because of yourself you are standing because of another person even if you are not standing because of, you are standing because of a territory because if a region is pervert if a region is corrupted it's automatically paving way for the kingdom of darkness to advance and I've known a long time ago that there are no neutral grounds it's either you are for God or you are for the devil you cannot just wake up and say me I don't want to serve God I don't want to serve the devil I just want to exist within the middle you see neutral does not exist neutral only exists in physics after your physics lecture forget about it at the tail end that realm of thinking that you believe that you are neither not for God nor the devil you are actually exactly where the devil wants you to be because whether you like it or not there has to be certain level of commensurate partnership between you and God to advance himself within your territory but if we are talking about territory if we have not conquered our personal life how can we even be able to conquer the territory so before we even talk about the challenge of the territory we have to be able to evaluate our life and ensure that our life is in the right standing with God that according to the standard of God we follow through his pathways and we have subscribed to his dealings so God is looking for a man although he knows the territory is in bondage but he's seeking for a man that can be able to stand because he knows that if he can find a man that can stand the territory will be delivered so our greatest challenge is to come to a point where we say, of course, here am I, send me. Not here am I, send my neighbor. Because everybody believes that he's not called to do anything for God. As easy as it is, that it looks as though many people desire to represent God. You'll be shocked and surprised. There are many people that, I'm telling the truth, they just want to be normal church goers. They don't care to find out what is the agenda of God for their life, for their territory, or where they find themselves. They don't care. But how can God advance in a region, in a territory, if he cannot find men and women that are willing to carry his body and carry his yoke? If you see God at any point in time, do anything anywhere, I'm telling you it's because certain people take it upon themselves. And it's always funny how many times people sit down and wait, waiting for somebody to come somewhere to bring deliverance unto them. And yet again, there is an ordination, there is a calling upon them to be able to advance this and they don't care and others actually there is already a system of apoptosis designed by the kingdom of darkness to inhibit them not to be able to join into their realities in the spirit because until you lay hold of that which God has made available for you you cannot be able to even represent him on the earth because no man does this by his strength there is an empowerment by the, by the Holy Spirit himself that we have to bring you to that realm of confirmation to be able to function everybody function according to the element of the ordination but these things require an atmosphere to be activated and until this thing is activated you may have a dream you may have a vision you will die with it what then we have to do anytime i come into zaria as i was if i was saying it always remind me of when we used to be here zaria to us is a crucible Zaria to us is a citadel. Zaria to us is a foundation. This is the place where giants are built. This is the place where mighty men rose. If there is anything I believe you can privilege, is to find yourself within this system. Zaria is already an environment known for things like this. Zaria has always been like a spiritual barracks where men come out from. Almost every great man either pass through here or they have one way or the other indirectly connection to this place. That is to let you understand that there is something about this environment that has the ability to build people to become leaders in every sphere of influence. And so with that understanding, anytime you come here, beyond just your academics, you must be able to find your calling, understand your purpose, know your assignment, what you ought to do. There is already sufficient availability made available for you to be able to take advantage of it doesn't matter how you feel i want to let you understand that if many men pass through this campus and yet again they became giant out there it means that you are given the same privilege as many we are given in time pass what are you doing with it 
Do you realize there is a warfare over your life? And the warfare is to be able to sabotage that which God intends to do with you. Many of you never desired to be here, but you find yourself here. And now that you have found yourself here, if you sit down to ask yourself to wonder, why am I here? Many of you, I'm telling you the sincere truth. It may have nothing to do with your certificate. It may have everything to do with the calling of God upon your life. It may have everything to do with the burden of God that you are going to pick up from this region. The relationships you may have to build within this region. But do you realize that the devil will seek to ensure that he pervert and corrupt the intention wherewith God has placed you here? We cannot talk about a revival without understanding the warfare involved in it. Because whether you like it or not, if God is looking for a man that can stand in the gap, it means that there is a situation that has happened upon which no man was made available. If God is looking for a man, it means that there is no one that has fit the criteria. Whatsoever that will make a man not fit the criteria in a generation was because a warfare was upon him that was able to sabotage him. Something silent the calling, something silent the vision, something silent the dream, something silent everything the man perceived about himself. One of the sure pathways required to activate you in the spirit is the pathway of prayer. This is an old, rugged way that can never be renovated. I don't believe if you find yourself in this campus, you never care to learn about the culture of prayer, never care to subscribe to the culture of prayer, but eventually you are part of those that are against it. Why do people have to pray for so long? Why do people have to speak so much in tongues? If you are still asking this kind of question, it means you don't even understand what the campus was made to be. Because the required kind of energy needed for you to do what God has called you to do outside of here will require sufficient energy of the trust of prayer. Everything, everything that you have to do outside of here will require prayer as a believer. So every believer that is serious must be able to understand the protocol and the pathways of prayer. Because you cannot be able to advance and make progress in your part of spiritual journey without embracing the culture of prayer. Does it have to be easy? No. Let the prayer be hard. That's good. In fact, I believe if prayer is easy, it will not have an advantage. Anything that is easy does not have an advantage because everybody will be there. What seems very hard is actually what has more value because that prayer is hard. It means that it's very easy for many people to be excluded. If God said actually for you to be able to be relevant, there is an amount of the energy of prayer you must actually give in, you'll be shocked. Many people will not do it. And because many will not do it, in a generation you can only find 10, 5 people that are actually able to be able to do it. That is to let you understand that because the inclusion criteria is actually streamlined, it means that only few people can be relevant. And if everybody can be relevant, it then means that it is easy. So the pathway is meant to be hard. And I like it like that. 